Yep, back to the upper limb. So we'll be talking about um, scapular anastomosis, okay? Different anastomosis around the scapula. Now, anastomosis is basically um, where two or more blood vessels are like coming together, okay? Um, basically, maybe they come together much, okay? Like five blood vessels coming together to form an arcade, okay? So, um, when one blood vessel is um, affected, the other ones will still subserve the function of that blood vessels, okay? So, that's just the basic idea behind anastomosis. Okay, so let's move. We said that this caused the scapular anastomosis. Um, draw the diagram, okay? And what is the applied anatomy of the scapular anastomosis, okay? So, guys, this is the scapular anastomosis, okay? And you could see anastomosis up here, okay? And you could see another anastomosis down here, all right? Let me know, boy, you. Let's go into the lecture and see what the notes have for us. Okay, so now the anastomosis of the scapula takes place in two ways. We have anastomosis around uh, the body of the scapula, and we have anastomosis around the acromion process of the scapula. Okay, so basically two anastomosis. Okay, we have one at the body of the scapula and one around the acromion process of the scapula. So the one around the body of the scapula you see here, okay, and the one around the the, the acromion process you see there, right? Don't worry, we'll be discussing this blood vessels, okay? So around the body, um, we have the scapular artery. Um, some of them, you won't really see them here, okay? Uh, we have the scapular artery coming down to meet around the body of the scapula. We have the thoracodosal artery. It's a thoracodosal artery coming to meet around the body of the scapula. We have the dosal scapula artery. All right. Uh, I don't think dosal scapula artery is a here, okay? But it meets at the body of the scapula too. And we have the circumflex artery. This is the circumflex scapula artery or circumflex artery meeting at the body of the scapula. And we have the posterior circumflex artery, okay? Um, Posterior circumflex artery, I think this should be E, right? I think this should be E, also known as a deep branch of the transverse cervical artery, okay, but easily known as a uh, the, the posterior circumflex artery. We have the axillary artery, okay? This is the third part of the axillary artery, okay? This also anastomose at the body of the scapula, okay? So now, as we are done with the body of the scapula, let's go to the acromion. In the acromion, we have the subclavian artery and the suprascapular artery. Okay, uh, we also have this is a suprascapular artery. We also have a branch of the suprascapular artery uh, coming here, and this is what the thoracoacromial artery. Okay, then we also have the subclavian artery coming there. I think um, uh, let's refer to this image. Uh, this is a suprascapular artery. The branch is a thoracoacromial artery. Okay. And we also have the first part of the subclavian artery moving at, um, meeting at the acromion process of the scapula. Okay. So basically, guys, this is the anastomosis of the scapula. Like we said, the anastomosis of the scapula is in two parts the one at the acromion process and the one at the body of the scapula. And um, we spoke about the various vessels. That actually anastomose at the acromion and the ones that anastomose at the body okay so um i think um this was basic ana uh, anatomy enough of the scapula okay so with these guys i would like to close up and see you guys in the next tutorial sooner okay bye